everyone and welcome to today's show. Uh, today my name is Wendy and I am a counselor advocate for CWC Greenhouse Shelter. Today I'm going to be talking a little bit about you know the agency, the work that we do, and a little bit about what domestic violence is. Uh, <clears throat> so CWC, also known as Connections for Abused Women and Their Children, uh, formerly known as Chicago Abuse Women Coalition, was originally initiated in 1976 and uh, it progressed into opening the first hotline in 1977 and then by 1979 it opened it, its first domestic violence shelter. Uh, some of the programs that it provides are shelter for women and their children, it provides a 24-hour hotline for people affected by domestic violence, uh, there's counseling services, there's legal advocacy, uh, there's also volunteer opportunities available for those of you who might be interested. Um, the mission is obviously to end violence uh, through self-help and empowerment. Um, CAWC believes that everyone deserves to have a life free of violence and uh, if anybody you know or you yourself are suffering through a domestic violence situation or you're not exactly sure or you know you have a couple questions about someone you know or whatever it may be you can always visit our website or you can call 773-278-4566 or you can always visit www.cawc.org uh, which is our, our website to learn more about our agency. And I'm, I'm going to talk a little bit about domestic violence and what that is. So it's pretty much uh, a battle over power and control. And so, you know, domestic violence doesn't necessarily have to be something where you're, you know, physically abused, it could be emotional, it could be mental, it could be psychological, monetary, there's different kinds of abuse. And I'm going to kind of go over our power and control wheel here, um, and it kind of talks a little bit about some of the different um, scenarios about different things that can be, you know, considered physical, sexual, emotional. Uh, for example, if he uses coercion, uh, where he kind of starts to make threats that he's going to hurt you or he's going to hurt your children, um, or kind of like intimidates your children, that's another form of uh, physical abuse. I mean, of uh, using coercion and threats. We also have uh, intimidation, where they kind of make you feel like you're worthless, like, you know, your self-esteem is, is brought down, um, you know, using weapons, things like that, that's also intimidation and that's another form of abuse. If, for example, he calls you names that are not necessarily your name or if he starts making you feel bad, uh, situations like that, then that's also emotional abuse. Uh, we also have um, isolation involved where you know, it starts little by little where it begins with he doesn't want you to talk to certain people or he or she. Um, you know, you can't talk to your family. You can't go to certain gatherings, start checking your phone, all of those things. And then eventually it like, leads you to kind of get your friends away from you and not want them to be near you. Uh, that's isolation. That's another form of abuse. We also have blaming and denying. So, for example, if you know he does something and then you confront him about it or you confront her about it, and they start denying it and they put the blame on you and say no, like it was your fault, it's not my fault, or I didn't mean to do it, or you know maybe you're going crazy and you did it, or you know this is this is what happens because you you put me in that position or you caused this. Uh, that's another form of of abuse. We also have where they use the children, where, you know, I'm going to take the kids away from you, or I'm going to do this and hurt the kids, or, you know, different situations or where they start telling kids different things to kind of make the kids um, hate you or, or not want to be close to you. That's another form of abuse. 
uh, using male privilege is also another form of abuse where, you know, I'm the provider, this is what I do, you know, uh, I'm the male in the relationship, so I have the authority situation. Uh, that's another form of abuse. And you also have uh, economic abuse where, you know, let's say that you're working and suddenly all the checks that you're receiving, he's now taking from you, that's another form of abuse. Why? Because you're working for that money and suddenly, you know, he's requesting that money and you don't even get to spend that money, that's another form of abuse. Also, a common thing where a lot of people don't know is uh, in regards to sexual abuse where, you know, it doesn't matter if he's your husband, your boyfriend, or someone you know. No means no. And so if, you know, you go to a party and maybe you had a little bit too much to drink and the next morning you wake up and he's next to you and you know there's no clothes or whatever, uh, that's rape. Uh, if you didn't authorize it, it's rape. We've had situations where a lot of people have called and said, but that's my husband, you know, I didn't want to be intimate with him, but he forced me to be with him. And so that's that's abuse and, and that's something that obviously has to be reported. Unfortunately, there's a lot of, uh, you know, abuse that goes on, that goes unreported because of, you know, we're too afraid or, you know, there's different factors that have to do with why people don't. Don't talk about the situation, don't report it. Um, do you have different options, different resources? A lot of it also has to do with like people not knowing about the resources that are available. But there's several domestic violence shelters available within the city, as well as in the suburbs, in case you live in the suburbs. Or you can always call, again, the hotline at 773-278-4566. And you can always ask, and if you don't know about any shelters around your area, we would be more than happy to assist you and find the nearest shelter if you're considering or someone you know is considering, you know, leaving uh, because they feel that, you know, it would be safer to, to be at a shelter than it is to, to continue staying and taking the abuse. Please, please give them the number and have them call and ask for any information that they might require. Um, also, if you know of any males, because it doesn't, you know, domestic violence doesn't only affect females, it also affects males, you know, the LGBTQ community, minorities, it doesn't matter, like it doesn't discriminate, it can happen to anyone despite the age, the gender, the nationality, anything like that. Um, so please, please, please let them know that there's resources available, report the cases, talk about what's happening. Like I said, there's 24-hour hotline. There's always somebody on staff who will provide you with assistance about the situation and can talk to you about what is happening. Um, domestic violence is a very common topic, and it has been going on for quite a while. But it hasn't been until recently that the light has shined on it and it's become more common to hear about it than it did in previous years. But the reality is that it affects both men and women. Uh, obviously, it's more common and more reported when it affects women. Um, but please, please don't hesitate to call. And it looks like we have a caller. Hello, caller? Yes. Yes, how can I help you? What's your question? Hello? Okay, well, it looks like it probably got disconnected or they hung up. Uh, don't be afraid to call and ask any questions. Everything that, uh, you know, is talked about is strictly confidential, not only in the hotline, uh, but your identity is not released. If you call right now and ask whatever questions you may have, you're more than welcome to. If you know someone or you yourself are going through something, please call. Please, you know, we can provide you with any assistance you might need. Um, and as I was saying, I mean, it affects anybody. It doesn't discriminate on, you know, race, nationality, age. It can happen to me, it can happen to you, it can happen to anyone, no matter what career you might have you know, what race you are, anything like that. So please speak up, please report the cases. It's it's more common than you think. 
and so you know it's we don't discriminate we don't you know it's extremely confidential we don't release any type of information if that's something that you're hesitant about and you know you're struggling on whether to call or not to call please call please make that a phone call uh, because you, you know it is something that that not only affects you but it also affects children uh, we also provide services for children we have the children's advocates who who are open to helping you you know your children if they're going through something our Humboldt Park Outreach Program is a walk-in program. Uh, like I said, go to the website or call our hotline and we can provide more of that information so that you can go ahead and, and ask more questions if that's something that you're interested in. Maybe you're not ready to leave your abuser, but you're ready to maybe you know get some counseling services or learn a little bit more about what your rights are. You're more than welcome to call and we can provide you with more information. If you're also interested in volunteering, you can always go to the website and learn a little bit more about what the options are for volunteering. We do offer a 40-hour program, which is available, you know, at our at our location. Like I said, all that information can be found on our website. Again, it's www.cawc.org. Like I said, please call our hotline if you know of anybody or you yourself are going through some domestic violence uh, situation and you have questions it doesn't necessarily mean that you're trying to leave the situation but maybe if you want advice or you need someone to talk to you are more than welcome to call and you know talk about what is happening maybe you know get some information about what your options are so you know and are aware and when you're ready to take that step to decide that you know what this is a time to leave my abuser or maybe even just start counseling we give you props for for even taking that you know that small step of making the phone call and asking for information because we understand that it's extremely difficult and hard to be able to to even acknowledge that you know what like I'm going through domestic violence so please, please make that phone call. You can also call the show right now. The number is 312-738-1180. So please go ahead and call. And, you know, ask any questions that you might have, you know, or any assistance that you might need. Like I said, if you call right now, it's extremely confidential. We're not going to disclose your identity. We're not going to, you know, let anybody know if, if you want to know information, but are afraid that maybe even your abuser will, will know about it. Please call. Please ask your questions. You know, nobody, this is strictly confidential. Uh, <clears throat> and going back to domestic violence and it not discriminating, uh, our shelter offers uh, support for for women and children and, and youth as well uh, because it happens to to a lot of people. So if you're interested in learning more about you know just the shelter in general, if you're not exactly ready about going to a shelter but you want to know more about it or have questions about what it's like to live in a shelter, please call and we can give you some information about you know what kind of services they provide and and you know some of the things that you would have to do like i said every shelter is a little different and the rules and guidelines may vary but um it's pretty much the same program they they assist you our program specifically is based on a self-help philosophy where we provide you with the resources necessary but it is your job to be able to to do the work and to be able to follow up and make the appointments and stuff. Uh, but the overall goal is to be able to assist you so that by the time you leave, um, you're able to, to stand on your feet and survive the world with your children and have lives that are free of violence and, and abuse. Uh, so once again, our number is 773-278-4566. And our website is CAWC uh, dot org. So please call, please go to the website if you want to know more about our history, you know, the services that we provide, our, our location, 
uh, because maybe you're interested in going to, a, you know, counseling. We also provide legal advocacy if that's something that, you know, you're considering or you want to know what your rights are because you are a victim of domestic violence. Please call, you know, receive the information. All of our services are completely free. We also have a location in Haymarket uh, and some in the hospitals. Uh, for example, we have one at uh, Northwestern and I believe one in um, Georgia Hospital as well. So please, please, if uh, you know you don't feel comfortable calling, you're more than welcome to do the walk-in and go ahead and, and ask your questions in person if you feel that that's a little bit more, more safe for you or, or you feel more comfortable doing that. You're more than welcome to, to do that. Uh, like I mentioned before, we provide services for children. So a little bit about what we do with the children at our shelter. Uh, <clears throat> we do activities with the kids. Uh, <clears throat> you know, it could be like coloring or we also tutor with homework. Uh, you know, situations like that. Same thing in our walking programs. Um, there's certain days where, you know, we have support groups and stuff like that available for for everyone there, uh, for both the, the children and, and the woman. Um, so if that's something that, you know, maybe you're not ready to do that, but you feel that your children might need someone to talk to because they've witnessed a lot of the abuse or you've seen changes in their behavior or something like that, you're more than welcome to go ahead and, and contact any of our locations. Uh, like I said, you can find all that information in our website. And there you can uh, <clears throat> learn more about what assistance we provide in regards to like children and the help that they can receive if, if it's something that is really severely affecting. Because at the end of the day, we not only affect ourselves, but if we have children, our children are also uh, very affected. Especially because a lot of the times they're the ones who are witnessing the abuse or they're the ones trying to defend us from the abuser. Um, who is currently attacking us or whatever it may be. So please give us a call. You know, ask any questions that you might have. Uh, like I said, you can always call 773-278-4566 or go to the website www.cawc.org. Also something that I did forget to mention is that for uh, those who have uh, <coughs> issues with hearing, uh, we do have a hotline specifically designed for those people as well. The number for that hotline is 773-278-4114. So please, please, like I said, it's a very common topic. If you know someone or you yourself is going through a difficult situation where, you know, it's it's been going on for quite a while and he keeps saying that it's going to change and it, the reality is that it's not going to change and a lot of times it happens in in small smaller you know events uh and that those are kind of like the red flags that allow us to notice that you know what it can lead to something bigger for example <clears throat> if you know, you're just dating. Let's say that you're teenagers and you're just dating and then suddenly, you know, um, he catches you talking to your friend Tom and he kind of goes straight to where you and Tom are talking and pulls you to the side and tells you like, you know, why are you talking to Tom? And suddenly he's beating up Tom because he was talking to you, just, you know, having a conversation. That's a sign that states that, you know, it's very likely that he might be an abusive person. Uh, another situation can be when, you know, you're living together and you, an old friend, you know, contacted you and is messaging you and, you know, catching up, you know, maybe on Facebook or something like that. And then suddenly he notices and he, <clears throat> like, pushes you against the wall and starts choking you or, like, breaks a plate or something because he's very upset. Uh, that's another form of, of abuse and that's another you know, a red flag that tells you that maybe that person is, in fact, an abuser. And, you know, those are little things that you kind of have to look out for. Uh, we also advise people, you know, and if you're currently in a domestic violence situation, uh, you're not ready to make the phone call or assist any of our locations to ask for more help. Uh, we do have um, safety planning tips, so 
we ask that you please uh you know stay away from any places that that are don't have a door in case you need to escape uh try to stay away from the kitchen because sometimes there's there's uh weapons that can be used uh, also, please make sure to keep your children, teach your children not to get involved uh, when there's incidents going on because then sometimes the kids get affected and hurt uh, during an accident. As you uh, teach your children how to go ask for help, uh, you know, if they see that an argument is about to start, have them run out of the house, maybe call the neighbor and let them know that mommy needs help or daddy needs help. Uh, <clears throat> we also have, uh, you know, maybe talking to your neighbors and, you know, if you feel comfortable and you have that relationship, maybe talk to your neighbors about what's going on and have like a special signal that states that if they see that signal, they know that, you know, they have to call for help because you're, you're being abused or, you know, you're in need of, of assistance. Uh, if you want to mo know more about like safety planning or, or, ways to keep your, yourself and your children safe or if, even if you just have you know questions about domestic violence or shelter or anything like that like I said please call <coughs> our hotline is 773-278-4566 or you can go to our website www.cawc.org you can also call our TTY hotline and that is 773-278-4114. As mentioned before, domestic violence is a topic that affects uh, not only young people, but also older people. You know, it doesn't discriminate based on age, nationality, you know, sexual orientation. It can happen to pretty much anyone. And so it's a topic that has been going on for, for quite a while now, but it's not until recently that there's been more light shining towards it where, you know, we hear a lot more, more about incidents that have been occurring or people even dying as a result of domestic violence. So please speak up. There are resources available. You can always call our hotline or call, um, you know, or even visit our website or go directly to one of our sites and you can get more information or if you know somebody who's going through something but you know they don't really know where they can go or what to do, give them our information and we can provide them with, with more, you know, resources and tools and maybe our shelter or our agency, you know, it's not somewhere where they can get to quite easily. We can provide them with other places that might be able to assist them that are closer to their home if that's something that they're interested in. Uh, you know, counseling services, legal advocacy. If people want to know about what their rights are as, you know, a domestic violence victim, we're more than happy to let them know. If they're interested in getting an order of protection, whether it's civil or criminal, we can provide them with more information about how to go about also getting an order of protection. You know, not only for themselves, but also for their children. And and what are the necessary steps to be able to do so. Like I said, please call 773-278-4566 or visit our website. Well, everyone, it was a pleasure talking to you today a little bit about our agency and what domestic violence is. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, or would like to know more about any resources available or any shelters available near your area, if it's something that you're interested in doing or that you feel it's time to do, please call, please visit our website to learn more information. You're also encouraged to do our walk-in programs to provide any uh, information or receive any counseling services or legal advocacy that you might need. Uh, like I said, 773-278-4566 is our hotline. Uh, we are 24 hours, so there's someone always available uh, to call. Maybe your abuser is there at the time and you can call. But maybe when you have at least, you know, like two to five minutes to kind of go over some of that information, you're more than welcome to do it. Thank you.